morning YouTube. How are you guys? I am going to do a quick haul. I really cannot stand the term haul. They, that term bugs me, but I love watching haul videos. I like doing them. Uh, the haul I'm about to show you is all from Books A Million. For my birthday recently, I turned 21 and my mother is awesome and got me a membership card to BAM and, because I shop there just all the time. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, anyways, she, uh, yeah, got me that card. All of the things that I found were originally $5 and under, and then got my discount added to it, so I was pretty excited about that. This is all in one bag, but it's from, like, two or three different trips. One day they had a discount day, everything in the store is 20% off. But, uh, all of the items in this bag are Christmas gifts. I'm going to show them to you, maybe tell you who they're for, depending on if they actually watch my YouTube or not. If they do, sorry for ruining your gift surprise. Just forget about this video and act surprised when you see it. But, uh, anyways, this is my haul. Before I get started, I would like to say that I'm not being sponsored by Books, Books A Million. I'm not being paid by them. All of these things were bought with my own money. All opinions are my own. Just so you know. I'm not cool enough to get sponsored by people on YouTube, especially this store, so. Anyways. That, shook my camera, that is my enormous bag from Books A Million, I don't know where to start. Oh, let's start with this, that's not even from there, it's just thrown in there. This is actually from Dollar General, and it is a random dinosaur, it's for my baby brother, he is like really, really huge into dinosaurs, and these guys are only like 50 cents or a dollar each or something, so I got him a couple of these. I'm not sure how that made it into the bag. Okay, first is this... Christmas box. It's really cute. I'm not going to mention who this is for on the off chance they're watching this because they may very likely be. But it's a keepsake Christmas book and it tells all about, you know, different, how different cultures celebrate Christmas and whatnot. And it has like a cute little charm bracelet and charms. And I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I loved charm bracelets. I love charm bracelets, I thought they were awesome, and I always wanted stuff just strictly because it came with a charm bracelet, so I thought that would be really cute. Also got, speaking of which, I'm obsessed with these mini kits, and a lot of these were on sale for $2 because they were either slightly damaged or something like that, but none of the ones I got were damaged. Uh, maybe the box and one of them might be a little crushed, but this is a wee little Christmas elf. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure. I think it just comes with an elf and maybe a... Oh, it comes with a book, too. This and, like, some more of these little mini kits I'm going to be putting as stocking stuffers in some of my relatives' gift bag type present things. Not exactly a stocking, but just little filler things and they're cute. Like, this one's a gingerbread house kit. It comes with a book with recipes and, like, cookie cutters. Uh, excuse me, and stuff. I got two different mini spa kits. Once again, these are all going to be stocking stuff for things. And these were all $2. Normally, they're like 5 bucks, So that's still not that much. But yeah, these were originally $2. Plus, plus with my discount card, they were even less. This is a Charlie Brown Christmas. It's the book. It actually wasn't a mini kit, but the mini kit was missing some of the items that came with it, so I'm just going to include the book in there. This one is awesome. It is a holiday box set, and it has Be My Valentine, It's the Great Pumpkin, A Charlie Brown Christmas, and Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, and that is just exciting because I'm a huge Charlie Brown fan, and I know someone else that is, so hopefully they will really like it. Also got this. It's a Charlie Brown Christmas book and tree kit. It comes with this book, which this has the book in it, and it comes with, like, the little bitty Christmas tree thing. Um, the Charlie Brown tree and blanket and ornament and whatnot. I'm rambling too much. Um, this is a hangover kit. I know someone in the family that is obsessed with this movie, loves it. Um, she's not going to watch this, so I'm going to go ahead and give it away. This is, uh, for my sister, who is a year younger than me. But, uh, 
It comes with a book and like little pictures from scenes from the movie, a shot glass, and just other random stuff. It's really cute. Got a lump of coal. I'm considering putting this in my youngest sister's bag just because it'd be hilarious because I know she'd be like, what's that for? So I thought it was cute. But yeah, it just, not bad. It just comes with a little fake lump of coal. Okay, and that is it for the mini kits. I told you I'm obsessed with those things. Next is Visual Illusions. This was marked down to like $5. And then I got to, no, I got 20% off of that because I picked this up on the sell, super sell thing they had. But it's really neat. It just has like illusions and eye trickery stuff. I thought it was cute. There's one other thing I have to go back and get. It's a little pirate excavation kit. It comes with like a little block of sand and pickaxes and you dig through and you can find dinosaur bones or a pirate skeleton and stuff. Because I recently learned there's someone in my family, it's my niece. She is obsessed with finding fossils and stuff. I didn't know this and I almost picked it up for her the other day but I put it back down and now I'm definitely going to go back and get it for her. The next two things, this one is why I love being an Alabama fan. Roll Tide, I don't know anything about sports, I just know that I have a very, very diehard Alabama fan in the family. And this is a why I live in Tennessee, 101 dang good reasons, as you know I'm from Tennessee, um, as is the majority of my family, so I'm just gonna throw that in as a stocking stuffer to someone. Oh, these were also, these were a dollar each. These were a dollar each. I actually have two other ones of these because this book is so neat. They have them for like every state, but I got the one for Tennessee and it's just random crap. Like, uh, the world's largest underground lake is in Sweetwater and it's got like myths and I think some ghost stuff and just random stuff, but it's called Strange But, too, Strange but True Tennessee. It was only a dollar, and like I said, um, look for your state at your local store because they most likely have a ton of these, and it's such a cool book. I want one for myself, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it away. This one was $3. It is called Hue, Screw, and Glue, How Stuff is Made, and it's literally just an entire book. It's kind of like the show How It's Made, but in book form, like... There's a whole chapter on how cigars are made, how crayons are made, and this is from like how start to finish how they're made. Glass bottles, lipstick, pasta, paper clips, condoms, soap, tennis ball. Just random stuff. I've got some people that I know are really interested in how things are made. I know myself, I can watch how it's made all day and be entertained. Um, luckily a lot of my family thinks alike. This next one is called The Book of Awesome. It was two dollars. And it's just, it's just, it's a cute little, like, positive book. It's just stuff that's cool. Like, when the vending machine gives you two things instead of one. Reading the nutritional label and eating it anyway. When you're watching one of your favorite movies and you realize you don't remember how it ends. Um, when you actually remember the name of someone you met earlier at the party. Neighbors with Fools. When there's leftover cake in the office kitchen. When you're driving late at night on an empty gas tank and a gas station appears on the horizon. Now, I've had that one happen plenty of times and it is awesome. So, yeah, book of awesome. Just a book of things that are really cool. It's just little things in life that kind of, you know, cheer you up. You don't realize it. But it's just a really positive book. I thought it was cute. I would have got more, but the, this was the only one left there, so I picked it up. This next one was also a dollar. It's... Rockabye Baby is a children's book of lullabies. It says it. Oh, wow. Okay. It says it includes a music CD, and even though it was marked down a dollar, it still has a CD in there, which is cool. I didn't know that. But it's just a book full of lullabies. Um, someone in my family has recently had a baby. She is itty bitty and brand new, and so got this for her. This next one is called Tea is for Tennessee. Once again, I'm sure they have this for other states. Like, if you live in Alabama, it'd be A is for Alabama or just random stuff like that. I'm not, don't quote me on that, but found this. It's a state alphabet book. I got this for my baby brother. He's two. But it's so cute. Like, 
A is for the aquarium that makes the Chattanooga news. B is for Beale Street, where they sing the blues. C is for country, we gave it its name. D is for Davy Crockett, Crockett of Frontier fame. Oh, I'm not even holding that. E is for Elvis, who built Cleveland his way. F is for eating fried food almost every day. G is for the Grand Ole Opry live on stage. H is for summer heat, even in the shade. I is for the infield at the Bristol race. And it's just, like I said, it's the alphabet, but pertaining to things specifically to Tennessee. And I think it is such a cute little book. I love this. This was also only a dollar. But yeah, I've given this to my baby brother. Next thing, 1001 Horrible Facts, a Yuckopedia of Gross Truths About Everything. This one's either going to my little sister or to my nephew, because they both like just gross things, and <laughs> this is literally just full of gross facts, like, when a turtle, which is immune to jellyfish stings, by the way, eats a Portuguese man of war jellyfish, it produces a smell that attracts sharks, so the jellyfish eventually gets its revenge. A rat can fall from a five-story building and walk away unharmed. The wood frog that lives in the Arctic Circle can stay deep frozen for weeks and survive. Um, ew. Nose bots are maggots that live inside the noses of animals that graze such as sheep, cows, and horses. See, that's gross. In China, bear paws are roasted in clay. The fur comes off with the dry clay when they are done. Like, it's literally just a book full of just kind of gross facts. Some of them are kind of interesting, but... I've got some younger siblings and I would love that. This next one is for my older brother and I actually order, ended up having to order another copy online because this was the last one in store. This one was the only one, actually no, that's a lie. The one I ordered online I had to pay $10 for. This one in the store was marked down to $5. The one I got online I didn't get from Dan. But this one was $5. It is Grilling and Barbecues, the Essential Grilling, Marinade, and Rub Recipe Book. Over 140 tasty recipes. Got lots of cooks in the family, especially ones that are really good at doing marinades and rubs and stuff. And so, thought they would think that was kind of neat. But yeah, it's literally just got a bunch of recipes, which I'm hopefully going to get to taste test. But yes, so that is my miniature, not so miniature, Books a Million haul. I think total I spent, once again this is three trips, total I probably spent maybe $30, which if you shop at BAM regularly, you know you can find one book there for $30 sometimes. So if you look around on the sale shelves in the clearance, which is where I always shop in that store, you can find a crap ton of stuff for $5 and under that are just amazing. So I recommend, highly recommend you shop at them for all your Christmas needs. Once again, not being paid by them, just promoting them because I love that store. But uh, yeah, hopefully this maybe gave you some ideas or at least a location to shop. If you don't have a BAM in your town, I'm really sorry that is horrible shop online there. <laughs> because seriously, it's a great, great place. Love it. But anyways, Oh, and you can find more stuff than books there. They don't just have books. They have, like, random little knickknacks, like these mini kits. Just cool, cool stuff. But, yeah, that's my haul. See you guys later. See you guys.